Hey guys and welcome back to our back to basic series here on farm sim 19 we are continuing with our animal videos uh this one we are going to be covering horses the so horses are new to farm sim 19 if you have any experience with games prior to farm sim 19 then you would not have seen horses if you're brand new to the game then hey brand new to you brand new to the game what's it matter right so let's go ahead and take a look at horses First off, we need to put down a horse pasture. So if we go to our store, go to placeables, and then animal pins, I find that once again we have our choice of small horse pasture or paddock for eight horses, $50 a day, or a large horse paddock holds 16 horses, $95 a day. Just for space requirements, we're going to put down the small attic. You're going to see that this has an interesting shape. Basically has triggers on four of five sides. And rotate this 360 degrees. Suit your needs. I think we're going to put ours right about... Ah, don't have enough money. What are you gonna do about that? Well, oh. borrow some more cash. Yep. Oh. See, once again, when we put this one down, we got ourselves brass. Well, this one actually did a bit of a leveling job on us. We probably could have lowered it down. Lower level. That kind of mangled our farm up a little bit. So again, it's good, good advice. to always back up your save. Save the game right before you place the building. Just in case something like this happens. Basically go back and revert. Exit the game. Don't save. You know, don't have to worry about this messing your whole area up like this. So the horses, we have a food trough. We have the water trough. Again, we know the water trough because it has a rounded bottom and round bars. Horses are going to need straw. Just like cows, we're going to need a straw blower or a loading wagon. So here's where the straw goes. And then the delivery location, or where we would buy the horses, is going to be right here. We have various horses. We have Gray, Pinto, Alamino, Chestnut, Bay, Black, Steel Brown, and Dunn. All of these horses, basically the same, just visual differences. Buy a Gray, you're going to see it's $5,000. $300 is the fee have a horse brought to the farm or we can buy it at the animal dealer if you buy it at the animal dealer we're going to need a trailer and we're going to need a special horse trailer for that so we have the big master western horse trailer to hold two horses color on that should we so wish Go ahead and haul a couple horses down here from the animal dealer. See what they take to get, uh, get cared for. As we did with our cows, we're just going to pull our trailer up here to the rigger. This trailer has a couple interesting little tricks. And unfold the trailer. We can open the, uh, the little tarp on the back or get a pair of uh, minos or X to fold the trailer back up. If you 
wanted to give them a little privacy, we could close the uh, cover. Okay. Now we're going to head back down here to the farm and get them unloaded. Just like the animal trailer for the cows, we're going to hit R and we're going to transfer them over and And if we look at the animal area screen, see that our horses require oats and hay, water, and straw. So oats and hay, 60% and 40%. Now, unlike cows, horses will eat both food types evenly. So this is not like the cows where we gave them either grass or hay and silage or total mixed rations but we didn't necessarily need to feed them all three with our horses we do for optimal productivity we need to feed them both we have some oats in our silo here Apparently not. That was nowhere near enough. We'll, we'll get that taken care of later. What we also need is A. Drop our bucket. Get our pallet forks. And we can feed bales or we can feed loose. I'm going to demonstrate feeding bales here. Feed bales, it's pretty straightforward. All we really need to do is drop a bale into, into the trigger. Get it off our forks. And oof, no way. Take a look here at our animal area now. 4,000, so they could use some more hay. Let's go get our get our forage wagon, our loading wagon, and put some hay in it and demonstrate feeding loose. I could just empty that out. Cows, but nope. Based on the chart, it looks like maybe they'll only take 4,000 liters, but just a little extra just in case. Eight thousand exactly for two horses. So our horses also need straw. Once again, we can either put straw in with a blower 
like we did with our cows. Or we can put straw in loose from our loading wagon. Got an abundance of loose straw, so let's go ahead and just do that. Should be enough. Straw trigger is over here on the side. Just like the cows, we'll see a straw player come in. Then the last thing the horses need is water. Okay, I made a real mess of that uh, that horse pen. Just don't build out, don't, just don't place buildings very much. Build out farms. Yeah, so if we check our horses here, we'll see that other than being a little short on oats, they have everything they need. Now, horses do not reproduce. They do in real life, but they don't in game. They have cleanliness. Fitness and health. Okay, so right now these horses are at five percent fitness. They only have a value of just sub three thousand dollars. If we keep the horses and ride them every day, clean them every day, brush them, keep them fed, keep them water and straw, in ten game days, these horses will be worth. $50,000 a piece. 10 game days, we could take a $10,000 investment and make $90,000 out of it. Then put another $10,000 in, so we're up, we're up at that point, $80,000. Another 10 days, make another eighty dollars buy two more horses, keep rolling with it. So something else is riding horses. Walk up to a horse, you're going to get E, ride Inky. There we go, now we're riding a horse. So we get to see our own little character here when we ride a horse. And we ride a horse with W, A, S, and D. We can walk, hit W once, W twice, we can trot. A and D will allow us to turn. Get up to a little bit of motion. Space will allow us to jump. We can start running. And really, this is a really cool way to explore the map. get areas that you typically wouldn't be able to with a truck or a tractor. We're riding Inky. Check the animal screen. We go to Inky. See that our cleanliness is going down. We're getting dirty. Basically, you need to ride them about five minutes per horse per game day for 10 days. Then we will have our maximum value of $50,000 per horse. At that point, we would load them back up in the trailer, bring them back up here to the animal area, and sell them for quite a hefty profit. Something else that's rather unique with horses is that we can name them. Go back to our animal area. See, we can go to Inky, and it says rename, change it 
do whatever you want. Hit enter. And then that is the horse's new name. So over here you see daily riding. We're at 43%, 44%, to 45%. That will tell you how much of the daily riding requirement we have completed for the day. If you want to slow down, you just hit S, drop down to the next speed. Walk. Stop. We can off the horse. And we can on. So if you skip a day where you don't ride the horse every single day, maybe you skip a day, you forgot, you were busy, the value of the horse will go down a little bit. That is something to pay attention to. When you get off the horse, they kind of just jump and go somewhere. When you walk up to it, you'll have the ability to clean the horse, left mouse button. The horse is super dirty. You'll see kind of the dirt vanish on the horse. Give it a couple brushes, and it'll be clean again. Go back here and look. He's back to 100% cleanliness. He only did 60% of our riding requirement, so we really need to ride that one a little bit more. We need to ride Falcon some more. And then tomorrow, we'll basically see that uh, each horse has a little bit more value to it. So guys, that is horse care here in Farming Simulator 19. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of horses being added to the game? Do you add horses to your farm as a pretty steady way of getting some income? <laughs> and until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. <laughs>